Whangarei parents are calling on the council to fence the city's largest playground at the town basin. On one side of the play area is a car park and road, on the other a river. Ashley Harris wrote to the council asking for it to be fenced, but was told it had no plans to do so. So the mother of three organised a petition, which hundreds of parents have signed. It's the second in just two years asking the council to fence the playground. I asked Ashley Harris exactly why she's worried. So my concerns are that the, the playground itself isn't functional for families and you know it's a, a community facility that we should feel comfortable and not stressed out and just enjoy ourselves but um, in this space right now it's um, there, there's no vision to, of your child you know if you're on one side you can't see the other side of where your child's going um, yeah there's no clear space around the park before it hits the river and the road um, and I feel like it's the council's responsibility to fence the facility because it's a council it is a council facility where do you want it fenced? Because I see right behind you where the swings are. There is actually some fencing there. Yeah, there is. So that is um, literally just around a, I'll move to the side there, it's a disability swing. So that one swing has been fenced off. Why? I'm unsure. I have no idea. It's um, accessible to everybody. The gate opens and shuts. Um, but it's literally the only part of the playground that is fenced. So you want the entire playground fenced? I would like the entire playground fenced to give us mums a peace of mind and just for our community to feel safe, you know? We want somewhere where we can go for it to be safe and happy and kids can explore their boundaries without being in danger. What has been the response from the council? The council so far have told us that um, if we don't feel safe, we can go somewhere else. Um, and as a parent, it's our responsibility to look after our children. Um, I feel like that's a bit of a cop-out, <laughs> personally, because we as parents do our best every day to be responsible for our children. And as you can see, it's massively busy here, especially in school holidays. There's so many children, and if you've got a little toddler who's, you know, under two, it's absolutely ridiculous. You could be running from one end to the other to try and save them from getting on, going onto the car park, relying on possibly other parents to stop them for you. And if, if they don't, then what, you know? Have there been any incidents so far? Has there any accidents that you're aware of? I, I'm not aware of any accidents that have happened so far, no. Um, but I'm aware of many mothers helping other mothers catching their children before these events do happen. So we all work together to keep our children safe. It would just be so much easier and better for our community and our children, safer for them to have a fence around the boundary of the park so that everybody can be kept safe. You've got a petition the to the council and, the and it's actually the second petition going to the council about this. It is, yeah, this is the second petition. So the last one was done about a year ago, a year or two ago, by a lady who gave up um, in the end because she got lots of negative feedback about it. Um, personally, I, I feel that it's just really important. I've started the petition and we've had over 800 people sign it so far. It's been going for two weeks. Um, and I just want to get it out there and get people on board and the community support because I feel like it's just really important so that's why I've started the petition. Does the council have a point though that there are lots of other playgrounds around the city so if you're worried about fencing you could take your child somewhere else where it might be safer that there might not be a busy road or a river nearby? Oh for sure they've got a point there but my point is that this park isn't safe and there are so many people coming to this park. They've got the Hatia River Loop, so they've got a loop that goes all around, so that's attracting everybody from the community with all these rock hunting, everybody's hiding rocks around the loop and in the playgrounds. There's so many children here, it doesn't matter whether they say we can go to another one. This one is an attraction, it's in the centre of town and people come here because it's their local park they can walk to it it's within walking distance for most people here and I feel that we shouldn't have to go to another park I feel like playgrounds are there for children and they should be made safe
Well, that's Ashley Harris. Now, Whangarei Mayor Cheryl Mai says she will listen to the parents' concerns, but aesthetics didn't form part of the council's decision not to fence the playground. I asked her why they won't fence it. <laughs> Very good question. Actually, um, this isn't the first time that council has been approached with that, uh, that same request. We received a, a petition probably coming up a couple of years ago, and the council at the time evaluated it and said, um, OK, so we've, we've um, created a playground, it's, it's a destination, parents are coming, children are enjoying it. Whose responsibility is it um, to ensure that, that um, children are safe when, when they're going to a playground? And at the time, it was, you know, our thinking was, OK, um, the parents need, to, or supervisors need to ensure that the children are safe. Now, I, um, I underst understand as um, a grandmother, actually, um, rather than a, than a mother you know, taking kids to, to a playground, it, it, it can be difficult if you've got more than one child to um, monitor both. So it, it is actually, it's still probably the position of council would be that um, the, uh, we won't be fencing it, but if we hear a really loud voice, then I think we should be considering it. Because being a destination playground and, and the situation that it's in, it's got a very busy road on one side, the river on the other side. Don't you think these parents have got a point, the fact that it is so busy and it's so popular? It's not actually a busy road. It, it is um, a, a road that provides access to the car parking area for the, uh, the town basin and for the playground. So it's not as if it's a, a state highway or anything like that. So vehicles are moving slowly. But yes, there is still a risk there that, um, that parents need to, to have their eye open for. And of course, there is a boardwalk right beside um, the beautiful Hartia River, and water is, is an attraction to, to children as well. So there, there, there definitely is um, a, a concern from parents, and we're hearing that. And um, if, as I say, if it's, if it's loud enough, then I think we need to uh, work with the community. We've had a situation out at um, a, a fabulous playground out at uh, Nongaru where the community got together and raised the funds and actually fenced off the playground themselves. So, so are you so, saying this is what the parents here should do, that they should raise the money themselves and, and get the fence built? Uh, what I'm saying is that could be an option that could be considered. Um, that I'm, not, I'm not saying for one minute that that's the, the, the path that they should take, but if it was something that um, perhaps there, were, there was a groundswell of support from the community. Well, how, how, how much support do you need? Because this is the second petition, and in two weeks, Ashley ha Harris has gathered uh, 800 signatures. And it would be really interesting if, if it were put uh, to the people who'd signed the petition, you know, would you be prepared to um, pitch in with a little bit of extra money? Because it is, it's one of those situations where we've got um, the, the rates have been raised for, for this year set with the work programme that we've got, and the work programme for this year doesn't include a fence. So, so the, council the, couldn't afford, the council couldn't afford an, to put a fence around this it's one? An additional, it's an additional cost. So um, if we were to, to do that fence, then something else would have to not be done to enable us, uh, because we want to balance the, the budget. How much would a fence around that playground cost? I have absolutely no idea. Um, I could, I, I, yeah, I don't have that information at the moment, Sharon. It would be interesting to find out um, what it was for the Nunguru playground, uh, but I don't have that information um, at my fingertips. So what you're saying is the message to the parents is if your voice is loud enough, we'll look at it, but right now it's not a consideration. I think that, m that my message is um, we really enjoy hearing from the community for issues that are important to them. Um, 800 signatures is, is clearly um, that, that's a, a, a good indication that this is a, an issue that we need to re-address. Um, I'd really love to talk with the petition organisers and just get them to add another little question around, you know, um, would you be prepared to, to pay? And, you know, I would imagine that many would say, actually, that's not, no, that's the responsibility of the council. But remember, the council is the ratepayers. You know, um, ratepayers contribute to the funds for the projects that are done in the district. And that's the Whangarei Mayor Cheryl Mai.